it's bad enough they haven't won here for four months but on the strength of his managerial experience with juvenile non-league sides the swans new boss has rubbished them publicly as lacking passion commitment and method on top of that they now lack the star matchmaker john cornfall swindon are still without their inspiring player manager steve mcmahon he's recovering from a cartilage operation but tony grant's been filling in nicely in midfield though this will be his third and final game on loan from everton the main threat to the swans is the twin strike force of peter thorne and wayne allison 19 goals between them three of them whipped the swans at the county ground last month peter reicher from tipton counts the players he's convinced that there's 22 on the park and so he starts the game now the idea of playing uh, four four across the back with a sweeper not being utilized by a new boss kevin cullis he's dropped steve jones into the right back position but playing an orthodox uh, central pairing of Edwards and Walker. Very strong breeze blowing around the vetch here and uh, it's at the backs of Swansea as they attack that goal to the left at the moment. Torpy tries to get a touch. And Digby's first. First piece of the action. Ling now for Swindon. Away to his left. Offside. Allison, but in the meantime, play is brought all the way back because I think it's Ampadu who has uh, got himself concussed a bit in that last attack. Here's what happened. He goes up behind uh, Robinson. Oh, and he did fall awkwardly, right on his head, on his neck as well. Uh, Pat Ampadu seemed to, seems to have shaken off the effects of that very bad neck injury. Thorne beating Cook. Chrissy Edwards. Well cut out by Grant. And it's on for Hanks. He might try one from here. Yes! And the goalkeeper got a touch. I think he might have cleared the bar anyway, but that was a belter of a shot from Hanks. Very narrow angle. But he really got that Sam Hammer. Yes, that was heading top right-hand corner. Pollock. Allison's all right. On his way to goal. Must score. Misses. Wayne Allison. Well, the Swindon fans at that end of the field will have got a close-up view of this. This should have been goal number 14 for the big, big Swindon striker. How did he miss that? one-on-one -on -one and tantalizingly wide of the post well, a keen spectator here could be a player here fairly soon Jan Mulby the Danish international Thorn looking for some help Grant quality player this Ling well done freestyle oh. Gosh, he came out like an express train then, did Roger Freestone. What a magnificent through ball, though. And Martin Ling must have felt he had something going there. Well done, Freestone. Ampadu. Edwards, the up and under. That's Ling. Looks for somebody breaking left. It's Bodin. This is Grant. Oh, wow, useful little lad, this. Robinson then. Walker, the headed clearance. Cooking a bit of bother here with Ling up behind him. And Ling wins it. Now it's good. Now it's Ling again. Now Robinson. And Ling, still the cross hasn't come. Ooh! Off 
the line. Well, I think he's ripped himself badly. That ball, the run across by Allison, confused Freestone. And it's uh, Chrissy Edwards who's saved the day. And Swindon, as you would expect, for an almost local derby, top of the table team, have brought plenty of customers with them. Allison and Edwards, and Edwards apparently fouled Allison. I thought Allison backed into it. Nevertheless, here's Horlock. Control ball for Thorne. And Gooden charged down. Horlock wide for Lynn. Good ball in. Well played. Freestone again to the rescue. That was going in. And once again in the box, this Swansea defence is looking awkward. That was Grant got the final touch. And Freestone just guided it round the post. Gooden's corner. Must be in. Yes, it is. Well, that's a celebration for Sean Taylor. The skipper. 27 minutes. The corner from Ty Gooden. And it was a good one. And it's bobbling around for a long time before the big number six says, I'll have that. And a chance here. Oh, the backspin didn't work. It was uh, top spin that swept the ball away from Heggs. I thought it was going to spin back for him. The three Swindon defenders got themselves in a terrible mess there. And the ball with top spin went straight back to the goalkeeper. Heggs got him as he went past. I'm surprised the referee didn't take some notice of that. That's good. Bowden. And Leng. And Allison. Well, it's not Wayne Allison's day, is it? That's two sets. Both gone wrong. Started off with that ball across from Bowden. Ling very intelligently. I thought he'd have a go himself, but he could see that uh, Allison was free. Well, he should have done better than that. Freestone makes the save. Still one nothing. Only. Ampadu the touch. Hodge loses it. It's down by Taylor to Pollock. Gooden. And Gooden goes again. And he's got a shot. Tried to guide it past Freestone. And Freestone guessed right. Lovely run, though, by uh, Ty Gooden. Playing the one-two with Bowden, in fact. And tried just to squeeze it past. And Freestone had it. Grant. Times when Swindon over-elaborated it. Want to make too many passes. Like there. Good challenge by Penny. Torpy's lost his way. Just didn't know where he was. And offside, surely, Horlock. Allison must score this time. No, never reached him. Horlock. <laughs> well, I was just saying that they do, they do make life difficult for themselves at times. Grant and Horlock, I thought, was about three yards offside. So justice has been done. Oh. Hodge. Hit the ball. Well, that was out of nothing. The ball was half cleared down the field, and there was really nothing on until suddenly Johnny Hodge appears, whacks it, and Digby is grateful to see it hit the crossbar. Walker off in the direction of Cook. Little touch for Hodge. Hodge who's trying his luck over that side of the park in the second half. Through the middle is Thorne. And he's got it. So no, he hasn't. Hey, what about his bad freestone? He looks absolutely amazed. Just Peter Thorne. As well he might. I mean, that was a certain goal, wasn't it? 
just a little touch. Ah. Freestone gets one hand to it, and then both hands. Bowden, a big long one for Allison to chase. Cook goes with him. The touch off then to Horlock. Oh, unlucky son. Kevin Horlock. And Allison lays it off to him neatly. Just a little touch and a absolute freedom of the park. Very nearly found the top right hand corner. Eggs there. Penny. Torpy. Fabulous save. Wonder save from Fraser Digby. The first real piece of football from Swansea. High hanging cross, Steve Torpy. And that was great goalkeeping. Carver House doubles away into the box. That skidded off the top of Bowden's head. Coming again from Jones. Chapel. And a break on for Swindon. And it's Grant leading it. Grant going. Thorne is up there with him. Tackling back was Claude. Cook being pressurized by Ling. Still gets it away. Ty Gooden making the shot. Now Freestone once again rescuing the Swans but doing no more than a goalkeeper is paid to do. Here's a break. Penny. Torpy. Oh no. Well, there it is. There's that final whistle. Kevin Cullis has got to go back to the drawing board to think it all through again because Sean Taylor, the skipper of Swindon, keeps his side right on course for the championship.